welcome to this, the fourth and final video in the Renorex Studio Renorex Spy series, GDI Capture Feature. If we begin by tracking an item in the demo app without using the GDI Capture Feature, we click on Track and a date in the demo app. If we look at the resulting Renorex path, we see that a single date has not been identified but instead the entire calendar has been detected. The screenshot is of the entire calendar, which is also reflected in the path editor. If we now repeat the test using the GDI capture feature, click on browse and results, then select the UI element which is to be handled by the GDI capture feature, right mouse click and select add class name to GDI capture list. A message advising you that the element has been added to the GDI Capture classes comes into view. Click OK. This time when we track the item, we see that the Runner X path indicates that 25 has been identified, the adapter type is raw text, and that the screenshot is of the number 25. Processes can also be added to the GDI Capture list to be able to track and identify inner UI elements. If you fail to identify a UI element within an unknown application, select the parent UI element of the application and open the context menu. Click add process name to GDI capture list. A message appears confirming that this has taken place. The GDI settings are accessed by clicking settings in Ranarex Spy. A dialog box appears. Click GDI Capture Settings. The GDI Capture list is displayed with both all registered processes and all registered UI element classes. This is the final video in the Ranarex Studio Ranarex Spy series. In the next series, we will gain a greater understanding of UI roles and capabilities.